So if you happen to be an enjoyer of the Tech Hut newsletter, probably more than a week ago, you knew that a new beta of Zorn OS 17 has been released. There's a bunch of other news, but we are gonna be focusing on Zorn. This right here is the official blog and release announcement for the beta. There are a lot of changes, including some uh, universal search stuff. We have multitasking changes, changes to the spatial desktop, and oh, a whole lot more that we are gonna be checking out in this video. I really like Zorn OS. It's a Ubuntu base, so it's compatible just about everything. Has a really nice kind of layout switcher. It is a wonderful distribution for those kind of people who are looking to get into Linux. Now it is dead, but to this day, I still have a machine running Zorn, this old dusty ThinkPad, which I'm actually gonna remove it because I'm gonna make an updated tutorial on turning a laptop into a server. Do subscribe for that. But just overall, Zorn OS is a fantastic option for a lot of people, and you're going to see why in this video, right after we thank the sponsor of today's video, Exter, and their smart wallets. I actually have mine right here. Wachow! If you're looking for an absolutely phenomenal gift to give for Christmas this year, Exter and their smart wallets and many of their other products could be a very good option. I've been using their wallets for some time. I've been using this one for over a year now. Now, I'm not sure the exact model of this one, but it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna be giving this to my nephew for Christmas this year. Now, this wallet's metal, but if you want kind of the more traditional leather wallet fold-out thing, they have that for you as well. In addition to their wallets, they have uh, tracking devices for your wallets, kind of like an Apple AirTag alternative. If you prefer AirTags, they have wallets that actually integrate with that pretty well. And of course, they have backpack, batteries, key holders, uh, money clips, bunch of different things. If you want to save some money, do check out my link down below and give the gift of a less bulky wallet this Christmas season. <laughs> so with that, the actual beta for Zorn is available if you do want to go ahead and test it out. If we scroll all the way down here to the bottom, right here, you could go ahead and download the core. Now, one of the kind of cons with Zorn OS is some of the features that are really cool are only available in the Pro Edition, which comes in about $40. And that includes some of the layout options and things like that. And in this video, I'm going to be demoing the core because it's probably what you're going to want to test out. And boom, change the resolution, we are in. So real quick, they have a nice little welcome screen here so we could start the tour. It's just going to go over some of the general features and kind of how to navigate the system. Open the menu to launch apps choose the look and we will be launching all this stuff in a minute speed up your virtual machine so it knows i'm in the virtual machine that's not really necessary right now but that definitely is a really nice thing connect your online accounts link your phone with zorn connect which is kind of a, a fork of uh not really sure if fork is the right word but it's kde connect basically they have a software store and then of course you can uh, get help on their help page so the main focus of this video if you want more of just a general overview of the operating system i have a couple older videos this is gonna be about the new features specifically. And first we're gonna talk about the global search. And to do this, we can right click right here and then go to search settings. Here you can enable and disable various locations, including weather if you want to. And you can enable and disable what is actually searched through. So for example, if you don't want to ping the software store for some reason, you could go ahead and disable that. And we can move up and down based on the actual uh, priority. Another thing that's kind of new is the all apps right here. So you can kind of get an alphabetical view of everything on your system. And one thing you'll notice, a lot of these features were kind of integrated into like, um, the later versions of GNOME. They have a multitasking here. So if you either hit the Windows key or you swipe up with three fingers, you get the multitasking look here. So if I kind of opened up a couple things, let's open up files, software, and then let's go over to a different workspace. And yeah, let's just keep the software updater in there. So we have that, but now if we double tap it, it's gonna open up a real nice grid view of our application. So now it looks almost identical to a GNOME. And of course, all this is customizable and you can find these specific customizations here within settings, multitasking, and here we can actually edit the multitask panel settings. And speaking of switching, if I go over here, you can see that it's really not that pretty of an animation and they added a new spatial desktop. So if we head over here to a Zorn appearance, and I believe it's under effects here, spatial desktop. You can enable desktop cube. So if you've uh, been using Linux for a while, there used to be the uh, Compiz effects, and this is uh, similar to that. I think it's Compiz. But we can enable this, and then we could do 
the spatial window switcher. Of course, there are gonna be some settings associated with this if you really want to get into the nitty gritty. So now if I go ahead and switch to a uh, window at a different location, boom, you can see it kind of gives me a nice little spin effect there. And now if I head over to here, you can see now it's a cube. I can move it around. Some of the windows pop out. It, it just looks really, really good. Of course, this isn't new, but if you want jelly mode, you can uh, enable that and have that old school effect if you'd like to. The software store is refreshed, so this right here is it. I'm pretty sure that this is just GNOME software. You'd see it's running version 42.4. So if you know about those updates, this isn't gonna really be new to you. But within the actual applications pages, there's a new information tiles. It just looks a little bit better. Now, another thing that they added is the ability to do window tiling, which is a really nice feature when it is included within operating systems by default. We head over to Zorn Appearance, and I believe it's under Interface, and right here we have Advanced Window Tiling. So if I enable that, here we can see the settings. If we go over here to the information, click on advanced. Right here we have advanced and experimental settings. We can enable that. And now within this we can see we have layouts. So here we can enable disable panel indicators and we have our actual layouts here. Here you can add, save them. One thing I noticed is down here, this is simply a GNOME extension that they're calling the Zorn Tiling Assistant. So basically this entire operating system, like they are a master at making general GNOME features and extensions look and feel integrated into the system, which some people who customize everything may think that's silly, but for a lot of people who just want to install and have a lot of features available to them, this is pretty cool. For one of these, for example, we have the four quarters. If I extend this, we can kind of see how the layout looks. We have all of the settings to go ahead and customize this. We could add more. There, there's really a lot of customization potential within the new tiling functionality. Now, their new quick settings. If we go down here, click on this, oh, click on this, <laughs> we have quick settings. Now, of course, this is just themed GNOME. It kind of looks similar to uh, how Pop! OS does it, at least right now with their GNOME kind of spin. But overall, it looks good. If I had multiple sound things right here, I could extend that and choose it and a bunch of toggles to enable and disable various things. Now, one thing, if I open up settings through here, and let's go down to power, they've added the adjustable power modes, which is nice if this was a laptop, you'd get a balanced mode, we'd see uh, the battery indicator, bunch of things would be added, but as you saw, this is just a mere virtual machine. And there's really a lot more, but a lot of the kind of features that they're touting as um, additions or improvements to their operating system just kind of, again, came with GNOME. They have the, uh, if I actually open up their blog here and scroll all the way down to where I'm at in this, here we are, new screenshot and screen recording experience, GNOME, redesigned weather app, GNOME. Coming soon, two new desktop layouts now. If I open up Zorn Appearance here, you can see the layouts. These are kind of the default stock ones that we have available to us. There's a couple more with Pro, which me, I personally like this one quite a bit on the Pro version. It makes it more kind of like Windows 11-y. And I'm one of the apparently few people in the world that really like how Windows 11 is laid out. But they are adding a Chrome OS-like layout and a GNOME 2-like layout. So this right here is the Chrome OS-like layout. And this right here is GNOME 2. So you see applications old school kind of GNOME menu style. Looks really good. You'll soon be able to switch these two layouts in Zorn 17 Pro. So unfortunately you're gonna have to buy it. And there's a lot more. I'll link to this down below so you can kind of read through all of this if you want to. They got a new logo. Again, here's the download, your feedback. And how much is this running for? Real Zorn OS. Let's go to Pro. Unleash your computer. $39. So you're basically paying $39 for a pretty decent uh, Ubuntu GNOME skin and um, extension integrations. So that is an option for you. And you're really, because they have the core version, of course. So you're really only paying for the uh, premium layouts, which I mean, if you're paying $40 for a Ubuntu-like skin on a Ubuntu kind of skinned distribution, that is Probably one of the silliest things you could do, in my opinion. Windows 11 or Mac OS kind of skins, I, that makes a little more sense. And then they pre-install a whole bunch of applications for you that you could go ahead and just grab from the store for free. Really, the only situation that I could see uh, somebody wanting to buy Zorn is if, like, you were gifting a computer to, like, somebody who's not experienced with Linux, and they just needed, like, a computer for browsing the web, and maybe you wanted to open up or open them up 
to the operating system, that might be a good gift. But a lot of the stuff we see on Zorn can be easily accomplished just by a, I even think Manjaro. I haven't used Manjaro in light years. I'm pretty sure the GNOME desktop for Manjaro has a layout switcher, but they don't do a very good job advertising it. But ultimately, the core is going to be absolutely good enough for most people. I mean, the default layout is already really nice, really traditional standard desktop. And again, if you're interested in checking out the beta, I will have a link down below for you, as well as a link to uh, both our newsletter, which has some more... Uh, uh, topics as well as their uh, announcement for the beta and once again do check out Exter while it's a wonderful gift to give for Christmas I'm going to be giving some of them away personally and with all that I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and good 